Did you know that you can use DSP code that you found on the internet inside your Max patch? Here's how you do it. I'm having a play with a cycle tilde object here, and I'd like to do some wave shaping on it, get it to sound a little bit more grungy. So I'm going to look around on the internet and see if I can find some wave shaper code. Okie dokie. Looks like I've been here before. Wave shaper. This one's got a pretty good sounding name. Let's give it a try. Okay, it's got some code down here. This looks like, sort of like C. Maybe we can use it inside of the gen object. Back in my patch. Let's monitor the output. And build a gen tilde object. Okay, there's my sine wave. In order to use code inside the gen tilde object, we need to use an object inside gen called code box. You can pretty much write any sort of C inside the code box, as long as it doesn't do anything with pointers or use arrays, and you take into account gen tilde's single sample approach to things. So let's paste this code in, see how we get on. Oops, got some errors. Let's have a look at them. Okay, we don't need to do this variable declaration here. We can get rid of that. Input in gen, now, well, we've only got one input for this, so we can get rid of that. And input, we specify with the gen reserved word in. Oh, we've got another variable declaration to clean up. And output is the gen word out. Oops, one error still. What have we got? In the exp no class fabs. Ah, fabs is a C function that in gen or in code box is abs. And there we have it. There's our newly dirtied up cycle tilde object. There's the original. And here's our shaped one. Happy patching!